you mentioned a couple of countries now here, um, Latin America and the Caribbean. Of course, it's a big area. Uh, I guess there are differences as well within countries. Um, in your research, have you found out some tendencies uh, with which countries does China cooperate more and why is it like that? We have divided Latin American countries into three groups according to their relation with China. The, the first group is the ones that uh, want to deepen ties with China. Mostly uh, those are countries that overtly uh, are against U.S. policies in the region. They consider themselves anti-imperialist. So China is the obvious partner, uh, not only for trade, but also for political relations. The second group uh, is countries that are in the middle, pragmatic countries, which have fluid relations with the U.S., but also have increased their relations with China. And the third group are the countries that don't have official diplomatic relations with China. This, this group is decreasing. China has managed to turn four Central American nations in these past two decades to recognize China instead of uh, Taiwan. But turning to the other two groups, the interesting thing is that uh, whether they have good relations with the U.S. or bad relations with the U.S., they all have good relations with China. China has friends in the region. China is not interested in enforcing them to choose, in, a, in trying to promote its ideology, like the Mao days. China says a so respect to sovereignty as the first principle. So if you are left-wing government, we can have good relations. If you are right-wing government, we also can have good relations. 